In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today we offer this Holy Mass for the unity in our church. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another, as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you, as is fitting among holy ones. No obscenity or silly or suggestive talk, which is out of place, but instead thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Behave like God as his very dear children. Behave like God as his very dear children. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave like God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Behave like God, dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. 
for the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave like God as his very dear children. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. With A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath, and a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of staying erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hand on her, and she at once stopped up stride and glorified God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when war should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his ass from the manger and let it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has bound for 18 years now, ought she not have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage? When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced, and all the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ has become man to show us the great love he has for us. He has come to heal us. He has come to give us back our lives, to free us from the sin and death. But Jesus needs that we let ourselves be safe by him, that we approach him, and that we allow ourselves to be transformed by his message and by his grace. Jesus wants to cure us of our sins, but to heal us, he needs us to listen to him and to believe in his word. Even though we often do not understand this word totally or find it hard for us to accept, let us trust in our Lord. We believe in his word and let us heal and save for him. Let us pray on silent.
with confidence we present our petitions to God. For our teachers in the church that they may be like trees planted firmly beside the running waters of God's word, drawing upon his living grace to produce all the fruits of their ministry, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For peace, that all who are caught in the chains of their own violent behavior may come to see their offenses against justice for the darkness they are and turn to the light of holiness and love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may imitate God who has forgiven us in Christ, becoming kind, compassionate, and forgiving toward one another, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are bent down and drained of strength under a long burden of suffering, those crippled by physical, emotional, or spiritual sickness, that Jesus may lay his hands on them and set them free, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all our dear departed ones, that they may encounter a Sabbath of liberation and joy at the hands of Christ in the Father's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for the unity in our church. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our parish community, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And we pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Faithful God, hear our humble petitions and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. <clears throat> Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be 
in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Charles our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am unworthy that you should enter only my room. If I only say the word, I my soul side with you. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, 
perfect in us what lies within them, that what we know celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of death. 